Jason LeDuc, back with you here with more advice on how to be the kind of leader you always wish you had when you were coming up. Today, we're going to be talking about giving bad news. Nobody likes to do it, but it's a key part of our job as leaders. And unfortunately, we just have to do it sometimes. So the most important thing when it comes to bad news, if you take nothing else away from what we're talking about today, is that bad news is not like fine wine. It does not get better with age. So don't sit on bad news. You want to get it out there to whoever needs to hear it as soon as possible. That said, we also want to make sure we have our facts straight as much as possible before we go out and give the bad news. Now, that's not to say that we don't go in there and say, look, the facts are still coming in. We're still trying to understand the problem. But... Here's what we know now, and here's the bad news that's coming along with those facts that we have. Also, when we go in and give that bad news, we do not want to sugarcoat it. If it's kind of bad, that's okay. But if it's really bad, we want to make sure and say, boss, this is really bad, or team, it's really bad, and we're going to have to do some things to correct this, and it's going to be hard. So don't sit on the bad news. Don't sugarcoat it. Make sure you got your facts straight. Also, Choose the right setting. When we are giving bad news to our team, when it affects the whole team, we probably want to do that in a team setting because we can get into this whole, we want to, we're all in this together kind of thing, right? Here's a big problem. We've got some bad news. We're all going to have to work together on it. I'm giving you this news together. Let's talk about how we're going to try to fix it. If this is something that only affects an individual, like a layoff or a firing or some bad news for an individual, we probably want to do that in a private setting. And in addition to plotting a path forward, just like we would with our team on how we're going to solve the problem, we also want to let the individual know that there may be some resources that we have that they can use to help them with their problem. And finally, after all of this, after you've given the bad news, after you've plotted a path forward, after you've got everybody moving forward, make sure you follow up that the corrective actions are being taken so that we don't have to give more bad news to our boss or to our team in the future. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, and share. Send it on to someone who can use it. If you have any questions or comments, slide into my DMs. I don't mind. I'd love to hear from you. I hope this was helpful in developing your leader's mindset onward and upward.